Hello and welcome to the choice of a young voice. You know, this is a series where we discuss the different choices that we need to make as young people in this generation. My name is Caroline Muche and I am your host. Now, <laughs> before we talk about the topic of today and before I introduce you to the guest who's with us, I had a very fun moment with the audience that we have on set. Behind the scenes, we played a game and trust me, they were so confused. <laughs> so let's take a look at that. Hello! Hi. Thank you guys for coming for today's episode. And before, as usual, you know how we do this. Before... <laughs> Before we go on set to start the discussion, we want to do something that can help us relate with one another. And in fact, today, you know how we are talking about defining true education? Let me see if you're truly educated and you will follow <laughs> this, the instructions I'm going to give you. Now the instructions are, I'm going to tell you this is a pen. Then you ask, a what? Then I say, a pen. Then you say, a what? Then you say, I say, a pen. Then you take it and say, oh, a pen. And you give her, you tell her, this is a pen, as I'm giving you something else. So as you're saying this is a pen, you have to respond to me, ah, what? Let's see if you can multitask. I know you're a man. Let's do this. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you guys ready? Let's start. Let's start. This is a pen. A pen. A pen. A watch. A pen. This is a scarf. A watch. <laughs> was a lot of fun <laughs> these people let me tell you these people need to learn how to follow instructions yeah. you need to <laughs> to learn to pay attention and you'll play this game well but it was a good time with you um, now today we are talking about defining education and with us is mm -hmm. a very special guest he is Dr. Andrew Mutero. Mm -hmm. He is the president. Uh, sorry, wow, I'm, uh, I'm already taking you. <laughs> 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 the Lord knows. <laughs> Vision 2022, 20, I don't know. Mm. Anyway, yeah. um, he is the uh, director of education at East Central Africa Division, yeah. and we're so happy to have you here. Yeah. Yeah. What is education? That is the question we're asking. How do you define an educated person or even a successful person? Um, and before we start talking about that, you could probably give us a brief background of your education. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, I am a trained uh, teacher, uh, trained as a P1 teacher, and um, I have worked as a primary school teacher. Wow. I have taught in a secondary school. I, have, uh, I currently teach also in university. And uh, so um, uh, right now I teach as a, a professor of theology. I teach, I train pastors, mm -hmm. but uh, I have taught uh, Andrews University, Kosendai Adventist mm -hmm. University, 
Adventist University of Africa where mm -hmm. I still teach. Wow. Yeah. God bless you. Yeah. This is a very educated man. How many of you want to get PhDs one day? <laughs> all, I, all of you. <laughs> Me, I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> the, I hear the stress PhD holders go yeah. through. Yeah. Ah, let me stay in front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. so, okay, the question we want to start with is, is education important? Is, if so, why? I think education is very, very, very important. And uh, talking personally, education has transformed my life. Mm. I think today I'm a better person because I went to school. Mm. And I would encourage every young person, if you have an opportunity to go get an education, go get a good education mm. because it will help you grow, it will help you mature, it will help you be a nice person and so we as a, a church mm. we encourage people to have education mm. because education helps you develop your full potential mm. god has given all of us potentials mm. and uh, if you are going to get a good education mm. you are going to develop to your full potential Yes. And uh, you're going to serve God, you're going to serve uh, mankind, you're mm. going to make a difference in the lives of other people. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, how many of you uh, enjoyed your school life, especially high school? Me, I didn't. How many of you enjoyed high school? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Primary school, <laughs> university. You, you enjoyed your university life, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, education can be so stressful sometimes. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's, uh, maybe there are different education systems, mm -hmm. and there are times the young people, maybe by their parents mm -hmm. or because of society, mm -hmm. there are those careers that are deemed more important yeah. than others. And so when you haven't matched that standard, mm -hmm you're not really considered as mm -hmm. <laughs> an educated person. Do you guys have examples of, of such? Maybe mm -hmm. I could hear from you. Any, any examples? Yes. Okay, I'm Baron. Yes, for example, uh, as you uh, as said, uh, like in a community, maybe from where I come from, mm. you'll get that previously, somebody that has not attained a degree these are people that are, n uh, they are known that they are educated. When maybe you dropped as, uh, you are uh, maybe in class eight, mm -hmm. and you go to another direction that you want to do a course, this uh, TVET, mm -hmm. you are taken like somebody that has not uh, gone into the, uh, where people should be. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, to me it is a challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, it is to me it's a challenge. To I as I'm, uh, I'm asking myself a question. Should everyone go that higher or when you reach a, a, a certain mm -hmm. level, then you can see where you fit for then you continue with your life? Yes, that's, that's yeah. a good challenge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I would respond to that question by saying that God has a plan for every person. God has a plan for you. Mm -hmm. God has a plan for every young person. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is our responsibility to be able to discover what is the plan that God has for me. Mm -hmm. uh, the plan that God has for you, maybe it's not to get a PhD, but uh, you could be able to make a lot of difference. You could be able to serve your, your God, serve your community by even having a certificate, having a diploma, having a degree, and God is asking every young person, what is in your hand? Mm -hmm. What is it that you can do to make a difference? Mm -hmm. And so uh, you should not feel bad because you do not have a PhD. Mm -hmm. But if you have an opportunity to have a PhD, it's not bad because it can help you even serve God better. But mm -hmm. if your opportunity is to have a certificate, get that certificate mm -hmm. and tell God, this is what I have in my hand. Mm -hmm. And use what you have in your hand and serve him. And serve him faithfully. Be committed mm -hmm. to what God has called you to do 
because God has a plan for you. Okay. Before I continue with my questions, I want to give an opportunity for anyone who, who has a question or a comment. Yes. I'm Victor. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed because as he was beginning, he, he alluded to the fact that he started low. Mm. Started by just being a, a primary teacher. Mm. And I want to bring this to the context of the church. Mm. You see, when you look at how sometimes we seclude ourselves, we create cliques in church. Mm. Those that have gone to school, those that have gone to colleges, and those that have attained university and have got some degree. You realize that it's a challenge that you, 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 you people group themselves mm -hmm. according to how they have gone to school. And I think it is something that is creating stigma, mm -hmm. and therefore it is something that we need to look into. Mm -hmm. And even as you will be responding, Mm. How would we ta tackle such so that we don't have people who have clicks in, in the church, the very church that we go to? I yes. think that is important that we address going forward. Mm. <laughs> I, I could respond to that by yes. saying that the most educated people I've seen in life, they are very, very, very humble. If mm. somebody told you that they, you know, told them who they are and what they have accomplished in their life and the academic at uh, achievement they have received. You'd not tell because they are so humble. Yeah. And the most uh, proud, arrogant people mm. are sometimes those people with very little education. <laughs> and, uh, and so I think God has called us to mm -hmm. be humble, to reflect, to be, mm -hmm. to reflect his humility. Because if you met with Jesus Christ, if Jesus Christ came here today, you'd not even know that he is the son of God, yeah. that he is the savior of the world. He was mm. so humble. And one sign of greatness mm. is uh, humility. So I hope that in churches, mm. that people don't group themselves in cliques mm. and despise other people because of what they are and mm. because they don't have education. I think all of us, when we come to the cross of Jesus Christ, we are all the same. Amen. There is no man, yes. there is no PhD, there is no certificate, there is no somebody who is illiterate. Mm. All of us are the same mm. under the cross of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Now, I want us to understand now, um, when it comes to choosing, or rather, what you want to do as a young person, yeah? There is something I could be very passionate about. Mm -hmm. But my parents are like, no, you only have to do engineering. And what, what else? You have to be a doctor. OK, you could be passionate about being a doctor. That's mm -hmm. good. But yeah. maybe you like clothes. Yeah? yeah. So uh, when it comes to such a situation, what should a young person do? Uh, that's a good question. and. Uh, I am a, I'm a father of two girls. Mm. There are those things I wanted my, my girls to study. Mm -hmm. And uh, I tried to suggest to them, why don't you consider this? And uh, what I wanted them to study, they had other interests. Mm. And I remember taking my daughter to university. She was going to study in Andrews University. And they had, uh, they had uh, seminars for parents who had brought teachers to come, uh, brought children to come and study in Andrews. And I remember in one of the sessions, they were telling us that now your child is an adult, 18 years of age, mm. and you should let go. You should let go. <laughs> they have their lives, they have their, their passion, mm. they have things that they're interested in. And at that point, it dawned to me that they have a life. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have my life. Mm -hmm. Maybe sometimes I, I thought as a parent I could make up <laughs> for things I would have wanted. Maybe I wanted to be a medical doctor, but, and, but it didn't work out for me. <laughs> now I'd like my daughter to be a medical doctor. Yes. But she is a different person. She has her own interests. She yeah. has her own uh, temperament. <laughs> and so at that point, I said, I'll let go. Yeah. I'll let them pursue their passions, mm. their interests. And so I would encourage parents. Yes. Let if a child 
is of age, yeah. let yes. go. Let them pursue their interest in life. Mm. You do not know what plans that God has mm. for them. Mm. You, and so let's God, God has plans for every child. Mm -hmm. And you don't know what God has put in their heart. Mm -hmm. And because I don't know what God has put in my, in my daughter's hearts, yes. I have let go. Let I go. have told them, whatever you want to pursue, whatever you want to study, I'll be there to support you. Amen. Can all our parents be like that? <laughs> have any of you had such an experience? Or, or have, okay, maybe you have a question if you don't have an experience to share. Uh, let me give the lady behind. Yes. Okay, I'm Lydia. Mm -hmm. I want to agree with Elder on what he has said. Like mm -hmm. everyone has that thing they feel is right for them. Mm -hmm. But again, my question comes. What if you're a parent, you're so ready to let your child go, let them choose the, what, whatever thing they feel is right for them. Mm -hmm. But again, what they're choosing as right for them could harm them in the future. Now, what do you do in such a case as a parent? <laughs> um, you know, I believe that, uh, first of all, um, God talks to all of us. Mm -hmm. I do not know what God talks to my daughters. <laughs> yes. I do not know what God has put in their heart. Mm. I, 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 I tell them what I would like. I tell them my mind. I would, I would mm. say my mind very clearly what, uh, you know, the plans. I mm. would uh, like them. Uh, I, would, I would have them for them. But, uh, and I tell them what would be good, what would be bad. And uh, but the decision on what mm. they want to study. And I don't think there is any uh, career, is any, any career that can kill a child. <laughs> 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 that if your child, you're afraid that if your child become an engineer, they will die. <laughs> you know, all of you. There are those who decide, oh, I want to be a bartender. But, uh, <laughs> you know, that one is uh, a special case. That is a special case <laughs> because there is no school where you study to be a bartender. <laughs> there is no school where you study to be a prostitute. So yes. th <laughs> those schools are not there. <laughs> but uh, you, the role of a parent is there to guide a child. Tell the, mm. the child, if you do this, this is how your life may turn out. If you do this, these are options for you, mm. but it is your call. Yes. It is your call. Listen to God. Listen to God. Mm -hmm. I'll be praying for you. Let's pray mm -hmm. to God so that God, you can, God can tell you mm -hmm. what, would what you'd pursue in life. Mm -hmm. And I think when a parent involves God and a child is God-fearing, something will work out. Something good will work yeah. out. So uh, in a nutshell, uh, mm -hmm. even before we continue, mm -hmm. I, I Baron, I, you're very active. That's good. God mm -hmm. bless you. And mm -hmm. I'll come back to you. <laughs> I'll come back to you. But uh, in a nutshell, everything, everything is important. Yeah. Whether you want to do nursing, whether you want to do communication, yeah. Whether you want to do, what else, what else <laughs> do you people want to do? Whatever it is you want to do, it's, it's important. You just need guidance mm -hmm. and the God on your side. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, we want to get into another, you know, segment when it comes to, you know, we've heard of like school dropouts, like you drop out of school mm -hmm. to do your own thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, so the question is, do you only get education in school or can you be educated elsewhere, especially when we live in a postmodern yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, society. But we will answer that when mm. we come back. So, uh, dear viewer, please the, engage with us. We are talking about defining true education. Have you ever have you experienced, you know, studying something you're not passionate about, and uh, now you're working in an entirely different uh, career route? Let's talk about it. Follow us on our fa social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. They're all on your screens. And I pray that you will stay with us because we are coming back right after the break. Welcome back. 
You are still watching The Choice of a Young Voice and thank you for staying with us because today's topic affects every young person. I mean, education is very important in life. We're talking about how do you define true genuine education and with us is dr andrew mutero who is the uh, the director of education at ecd and a lovely audience of educated young people are you educated yes. <laughs> <laughs> i hope so <laughs> yes so before we uh before we went on a break we were talking about um i asked now i posed a question that we should discuss at this point yes um which which basically was about is do you have to go to school to be educated? Uh, yes <laughs> and no. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, first of all, maybe I need to start with the definition of okay. true education. Okay. True education is the development of the whole being, mm. and uh, it in involves uh, several spheres mm. uh, physically, socially spiritually mm -hmm. and mentally. Mm -hmm. You know, we focus so much on mental mm -hmm. that we forget other, other, other parts, aspects of uh, education. Mm -hmm. And um, I think uh, as uh, Christians, we need to be very, uh, we, we need to, to be very, very careful yes. that uh, education is not only what happens in a classroom when uh, the teacher is standing by the blackboard. Mm. Even there are some kind of education that happens outside the classroom. Mm. There is formal, there is informal. Mm. And uh, actually, what happens outside the classroom in a school, mm. it is more critical, is more critical. Mm. Because that determines whether at the end of the day, you have received true education or you received partial education. Mm -hmm. And there are so many people who are very good A students they have passed well, they have nice certificates, yes. and uh, they did very well in national exams, and, uh, and uh, they did not receive true education. <laughs> because with good grades, with their mental abilities, uh, when you go to other areas of life, mm. they are not doing very, very well. They are scoring F and E. <laughs> they, are, they are failing in other aspects of <laughs> life. Maybe they are failing spiritually. Yes. They are failing socially. Hey, they socially are very Kwanza. unsocial person. <laughs> <laughs> they, are, they are failing uh, physically. They are yes. very unhealthy. Mm -hmm. They are very unhealthy and they have engaged themselves uh, at risky behaviors. Yes. And so when we think of education, we need to think of the whole person. Mm -hmm. And uh, we need to see because uh, God wants us to uh, develop, to our development be holistic mm -hmm. so that we can be able to serve God and we can be able to serve mankind. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Is there, okay, now let me go to your question because you've been <laughs> asking for it. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask a question about, uh, like, uh, Elder says, Yes. That when uh, somebody is uh, 10, 18 years now, you can leave that child to choose. I want to ask Helda as a person, yes. can you allow your child to be an art artist? The, 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 how do you call it? Paint. The, music, the oh. musicians that are, s uh, <laughs> are singing, mm -hmm. or somebody wants to be a designer, mm -hmm. uh, bringing these funny, funny clothes, mm -hmm. and you are an Helda. <laughs> can you allow your child to... Uh, diverge to that kind of a field? Uh -huh. uh, I think uh, I'm confident by the time my child is 18, I've trained them. I've, they have been to cyber school. <laughs> we have done a lot of background uh, training. And uh, by the time uh, a child is 18, uh, then uh, we can be safe to allow them because of the training they have had in the past. We can. Uh, we can uh, allow them to pursue things of interest. Yes. And a good example, uh, I thought maybe my daughter would be, would be a pharmacist. Mm. And I was trying to tell her, you know, can you do this, can you do that? And after some time she said, no, 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 no. I want to go and study film. Wow. You know, and at first I almost got heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> what is this now? <laughs> 
But she said, you know, Dad, I'm very passionate. Yes about uh, making films. And now I ask myself, what kind of film are you going to make in your life? Mm -hmm. And uh, so I said, if that is what you're passionate about, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to allow you to pursue. Because I don't know what God has put in your, in your heart. Mm -hmm. I don't know what, uh, what God is planning in your lives. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are so many things I don't understand. But I'm going to take the risk of trusting you to mm. pursue what you like. Mm. So my, my fingers are closed. <laughs> so I don't know what kind of film she's going to make. <laughs> I can only pray for her. Yes. I have said that I have to let go. Yes. And pray for her that with the talents, with the knowledge that she gets, mm. she is going to serve God. She's going to be a responsible person. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's going to do that which we bring really and honor to God. Yes. And if she decides otherwise, I can mm. only pray for her. Yes. And yes. I can only pray for her. And so I think we can take risks as parents mm. uh, because there are people I met, they said, you know, my, f my parents didn't want me to pursue this area. Mm. And they turned out to be very successful. Yes. And the parents took risks with them. They didn't even want, they were not convinced but today they are millionaires. Yes. They are making a lot of money. They are very well. They have won a lot of rewards mm -hmm. because God had plans for them, yes. which the parents did not know. Yes. They had certain talents that nobody knew about. Only God knew. Yes. And so we can trust our children with God. Mm. And with God, you cannot go wrong. Amen. Amen. Is there any other question uh, before I shut anyone else out? Okay, thank you. That is very important. Uh, personally, I have a friend mm -hmm. who studied, I think, biochem. Mm -hmm. Right now, she's working for KRA. And she's really good. Mm -hmm. Like, she doesn't have a background, but she's one of the top people. Mm -hmm. She's <laughs> very good at, at, at what she does. Yeah. I have friends who, they studied something, you know, just to get education done with, mm -hmm. and then they end up pursuing mm -hmm. their passion. Mm -hmm. So let me even throw it back to you. Mm -hmm. Maybe share with me, what are you guys passionate about? And is it what you studied? Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> okay, my name is Rachel. Uh, I had passion about helping people, so I wanted to study nursing. And um, when the time reached for me to join the university, my mom was like, ah, you should study education. I was like, hi, being a teacher, no, I don't want to be a teacher, I want to be a nurse. Mm -hmm. So, uh, looking at my grades, again, that's an education system in Kenya. You must attain certain points to get certain mm -hmm. courses uh, to be qualified for them. And so, mm -hmm. um, I pursued different courses altogether. Mm -hmm. And I remember the first two years of my study, I was like, God, what am I studying? Mm -hmm. I was studying Bachelor of Science in Zoology, and at some point, Okay, naturally, I hate snails. And so there was <laughs> this topic <laughs> dealing with mollusks. Mollusk is a class of uh, snails. And yes. so I was like, God, how did, why did you create these things? Mm. And uh, okay, I, to, to some point, I failed to understand why am I in this course. Yeah. And later, after graduating, I pursued another training to help in nursing, though it's not really nursing, but medical missionary work. Mm -hmm. So there I understood why I studied my course, because it, it, it deals a lot with anatomy, yeah. physiology, and yeah. the, uh, parasitology, and everything. So I understood all that. Zoologies. All those zoologies. All those zoologies, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so after I pursued all that, I look back, and mm. I was like, maybe God redirects plans. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And so true. parents, uh, truth be told, mm. We normally defer with parents when they tell us, go this way, you no, know, we want to go this way. But God will always bring you back and yeah. restructure your minds and your mm. thoughts yeah. as youths. We just, uh, like you said, put your trust in God. Thank yeah. you. That's a powerful testimony. Yeah. That's a powerful testimony. Thank you so much. Um, and now, because uh, uh, we'll soon wind up, and I want you to think about you know, the choice that you're going to write down. You know, because uh, uh, towards the end of this episode, write down the choice that will stick on that choice, beautiful white choice board right there. Okay. Um, there are people who study but are still illiterate. Mm. <laughs> mm. 
You know, we, I, I don't know about you, but when I was in university, you're given assignments, so you just copy paste. <laughs> <laughs> There's internet. There's Google. <laughs> Google has all the answers. <laughs> You know, and then when you go to the job market, mm. you're not performing. Yeah. yeah, what do you have to say about that? <laughs> it is very unfortunate. Uh, I think two years ago, the person mm. who inve invented copy and paste, he <laughs> died <laughs> about two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> but uh, he has mm. left for us this monster <laughs> where people, because they are very lazy, they don't want to do the work they are given by the teacher, so they mm. would easily go and copy and paste. And uh, so people just go in the motion of school and uh, they are not learning, they are not uh, passionate about what they are doing. Mm. And uh, it, is, uh, it, is, it is very, very unfortunate. But that is a reality. Yes. And even the worst reality is that people who cheat in yes. exams, yes. cheat in exams. Uh, can you imagine we have heard of doctors, you have mm. done everything, uh, you cheat and then mm. you end up treating people. Mm. And some of them end up uh, even becoming surgeons. Mm. And uh, we have had uh, fake surgeons. Ah, yeah. uh, I remember some time ago I was reading in a newspaper of this person who pretended to be a surgeon. Until when they went for surgery one time, the nurses could, he was, you know, could mm. uh, notice that they are not holding the knife in the right way. There is a way that you hold yes. the knife as a, as a surgeon. Yes. And then they began to become very, very, very suspicious. And it is, it is very, very unfortunate because of such mistakes mm -hmm. of the people who copy and paste, people who cheat in exams, then uh, such people become a risk, such a big risk to mm -hmm. the society. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, know, you know, we have heard of surgeons who have left a pair of scissors in somebody's stomach, Ooh. you know? We have heard of horror stories about people who are incompetent. Mm. And I think we as Christians, mm. we have to be very, very, very careful that mm. uh, when you, God has called you, you are going mm. to school, go and put your best foot forward. Yes. Go and study hard mm. because it is a matter of life and death. Mm. Can you imagine an incompetent surgeon, an incompetent doctor, who instead of treating malaria, they are treating, uh, <laughs> treating <laughs> something typhoid or yeah. su treating something else. Yeah. Or yeah. incompetent policeman. Can you imagine mm. what would happen in incompetent policeman? Mm. Uh, you know, I met one very drunk and he's dropping the cars mm. and the cars are almost eating because he's so drunk and he's on the road. Oh so no. you become a danger, not only to yourself, but you yes. become a danger to, uh, to everybody else. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Is there another question, comment? Oh, wow, wow, people. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm Winnie. You know, you have said that education is good and all. we are all needed to be educated. Mm. I find that many young people in the world today mm. who have gone to university or colleges, they have all been educated, but there's no job. Mm -hmm. And they, they end up mm -hmm. roaming around doing things that are not, are not good because there's no job, there, there no, there, there's no opportunity to get that mm. skill out so that they can do what they have studied. That's a very good concern. Yeah, that's, mm. a, that's a very good question. So mm. I've met people who have studied and uh, they unfortunately they did not get jobs. Mm. But these people, they did not sit home feeling bad about themselves and crying every day. Mm -hmm. They decided to do something, they decided even to volunteer. I met uh, a young person who had studied chemistry and they could not get a job. So what the person had done, they said that they want to be productive. Mm. They want to do something to, t to change somebody's life. Mm. So they went in their village and in their neighborhood and volunteered. They told parents, mm. I'll be coaching. Mm -hmm. I'll be volunteering to help students mm. who, have, who have challenges with chemistry. So every evening, he was volunteering. Nobody was paying him anything. He mm. was volunteering to help uh, and uh, teach the students who are struggling with chemistry. Mm. And he did that. After some time, the parents decided they are going to employ him because oh. he's doing a good job. Mm. 
And uh, he had all these many people who were coming and he's training them. Then, a neighboring school, the people that he was training began to do very well in school. Mm -hmm. So the school said about this young man mm -hmm. who is very passionate about chemistry. Mm -hmm. And they don't care whether they have a job or not, but they are, they are volunteering, they are making a difference. Mm -hmm. And the school offered to give him a job. So when you don't have a job, mm -hmm. try to create a job for yourself. Yes. Try to volunteer. Do you something. are a teacher. Mm. Try even to go to a school and say, I'll come here and I'll be teaching something for free. Mm -hmm. I don't care about somebody paying me or not. Mm -hmm. And soon, somebody will take note. Mm. The word will go in the village that there is a young person mm. who goes to schools and uh, you know they have, they have graduated, they have a, uh, they have a first degree. Mm. and uh, they, they don't have a job, but they decided not because they don't have a job, mm. they are going to help make a difference in the community. Mm. And you'll be surprised. There are people who hear about your situation. Mm. Maybe a TV, a TV station will invite mm. you for an interview, or maybe a radio station. Wow. And people will come to get to know about you, and mm. somebody will give you a job. Amen. So go out there, whether yes. you have a job or not, mm -hmm. go and make a difference. Go and create a job mm -hmm. for yourself. Amen. Amen. Have you been inspired? <laughs> yes, the last person uh, for two. Oh, no. Okay. Let's have you. Mm -hmm. At times, we, we take our careers according to how they pay. At times, mm -hmm. we, we pick on careers that pay more. And maybe you are passionate about a certain career, but it doesn't mm -hmm. earn more at mm -hmm. the end. So we, we pick those careers that earn more. So what advice can you give to <laughs> such? Yes, what, what? And just as you answer that, please write, because I want you to start pi uh, pinning your choices on the board uh, as we wind up, because we're winding up soon. Yes. I want to share with you my experience. I, I wanted mm -hmm. to be a medical doctor. But my mother wanted me to be a teacher. And so we discussed with my mother, and I did not want to disappoint her. And uh, I had an opportunity to become a teacher. I said, okay, let me try, mm. you know. And, uh, you know, and uh, uh, took the opportunity I had to become a teacher. Mm. And today, I am a teacher. Mm. And I... I said I took an opportunity that came and I've mm. fallen in love with teaching. Wow. I've developed passion in teaching. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes there is what you like mm. and there are opportunities that you have. Yes. And sometimes life gives us only, don't, the life does not give us a lot of choices. Mm. And so whatever opportunity you have, you pick it first. Mm. Pursue opportunity that you have, then later on, you are young people, later on, mm -hmm. when you have a big opportunity, you have some money, yes. you can then pursue mm -hmm. what, what, what you like. Mm -hmm. And so it is better you pick the bird that you mm -hmm. can pick, let keep the bird in one hand, yes. and then go and look for the second bird. Wow, thank you so much. Uh, <coughs> now, I hope you're done writing. I want you to pin uh, your choices on the board. And even for the viewers who are watching, just think about what we've, di we've been discussing today and, and think about the choice that you're going to make based on this discussion. It's a learning opportunity for all of us. And because we're left with like three minutes, <laughs> maybe you could give your closing remarks, your take home. And as he does that, please walk, feel free to post your choice right there, yes. I think one of the biggest problem that young people have is lack of a dream, lack of a vision. Mm. And I would like to encourage every young person, mm -hmm. you have a dream, have a passion, mm -hmm. and pursue it, and pursue it. Yes. And, uh, and have a big dream mm -hmm. for yourself. The Bible says in the book of Psalms uh, 37 verse four, Mm -hmm. The Bible says, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of, of your, your heart. heart. Amen. What you desire, what you dream, the vision mm. you have, 
you cannot rise higher mm. than your vision and rather higher than your dream. And yeah. every dream is valid. Mm. And so have what is it that you want to do in life? Yes. And what is it that, uh, mm. how do you want to make a difference? Mm. And uh, so when you have that dream, you pursue, pursue it. it. Pursue it. And pursue it aggressively. Yes. And you'll be surprised. And God will surprise you. Mm. God will surprise you because God has a way of giving you the desires of your heart. Amen. Amen. Uh, have you guys learned a lot? Have you been blessed? Uh, blessed? Th thank, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for your wisdom. And now we know what true education is. Uh, uh, what is true education, Baron? You'll get a present after this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, from uh, uh, what I've learned today that uh, uh, it is not uh, really mean that I should go uh, through uh, classwork and I attain uh, big degrees mm. so for me to be seen as an educated person. Mm. What I have in me as a, uh, my skills, what yes. I have in uh, my passion, that is a true education. When I, I make use of it, then it will help me in the uh, future. God bless you abundantly. And here we have um, the choices that the young people have made today. Some, someone says, I must love what I do. Yes. Another person says, must serve God with profession. Uh, uh, yeah, professionally. Another person says, education is not all about papers. It's about passion and it's trusting Jesus for guidance. Trust Jesus in what you're going to pursue and what you're currently pursuing. And if you feel like you've not found what you want, God has a plan for each and every one of us. Gra gra grab an opportunity for yourself and let God lead you as you serve the community, as you serve the world. God bless you. I hope you've made a decision today to be educated in whatever aspect God has called you to be. Thank you so much. Um, it's been a great time with you all. Follow us on our social media platforms and subscribe to our Skiza Tunes. Let your callers know who Jesus is. It's written right there on your screen. God bless you and see you next week.